Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Alex Puckett. Off this afternoon with a wide view uh, of satellite and radar, you can see that we've actually gotten a little bit of sunshine across parts of the area. If you're watching us in the Golden Triangle, you've seen some cloud cover and some sunshine. Uh, but you also notice that if you're in the northern half of the viewing area, it's not only been cloud cover, but rain. And just the expanse of this system across the central United States, producing thunderstorms across portions of central Louisiana, eastern Texas, snow and ice across portions of the Great Plains, and then further off in the north and east in our neck of the woods, we're just seeing, at the moment at least, just general rain showers. Also wanted to show you how intense some of this thunderstorm activity is. This is visible satellite with infrared satellite on top of it. So it's showing where you see these blues and especially these yellows and oranges where we see cold cloud tops indicating that we've got strong updrafts going to the upper levels of the atmosphere where you get ice crystal formation. So you can see some of those blues showing up in Oklahoma where they're actually seeing some ice and snow falling. But in central Louisiana, some oranges and yellows where there's intense updrafts associated with thunderstorms. Those thunderstorms are producing or uh, prompting a tornado watch across central Louisiana. Right now, we don't have anything like that in our neck of the woods, but we do have a few showers ongoing, mainly along and northwest of the Natchez Trace Parkway at this point. We're keeping an eye on these, but more of the intense rainfall going to hold off until tonight. You can see the cold front on our temperatures as we head into the afternoon. Temperature down to 59 in Corinth, 57 in Oxford, but we're at 81 in West Point, so a pretty tight temperature gradient in place. And that front really not moving all that fast. As we go through the rest of the day, here's where temperatures are going to land. Upper 70s, low 80s in the Golden Triangle in the southeastern portion of the viewing area. But if you go to the far northwestern portion of the viewing area, high temperature is only going to be around the 60s. So, as far as the future cast is concerned, you can see more scattered shower and thunderstorm activity through the afternoon and evening. More widespread rain as that front finally pushes to the south, meeting some moisture coming in from the, north, or from the southwest uh, this evening into the overnight hours. Thursday, the front lifts back off to the north, so a lot of the area will start to dry off or at least see lower overall rain chances through the day on Thursday. Now, for today, the potential for overnight, especially a couple of stronger storms. I can't rule out a spin up tornado or an instance of uh, some gusty winds. Overall, the threat low, but not zero. As far as hail is concerned, looks almost non existent. Maybe a couple of very small hailstones flooding going to be the biggest concern, mainly again along and northwest of the Natchez Trace. So, over the next seven days, here's how, the thing, how things are going to work out. Again, you see the rain chance not going anywhere Thursday. But we do bring uh, another good chance of rain on the board Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday as another front pushes through with the potential for some stronger thunderstorms in that as, as well. Now, time now to get a sneak peek of our educator of the week. Here's Renee Skinner.